All right, um, this is my second try at this video. I it was like ten minutes long the first time, so I'm gonna keep it, try and keep it short. Uh, here's half a droid deca, which I can't really send you because I can't find the rest of it. Um, I wish I could; that would be pretty sweet because those aren't those don't come with a lot of sets. Um, real quick, pieces I'd recommend gluing are this comes off like nothing right there. I'd recommend gluing that. These are on swivels, and this same thing. Um, man, these stickers, they're like breaking off. Because they're not quite flat anymore. They've sort of warped. And as you go to push them flat, they're brittle now. So, real quick, I wanted to show you all the things that this can do. Because some of them are obvious, some of them are not so obvious. Um, this was the piece that I was talking about earlier that I lost, thought I lost. I'd recommend gluing it right there because the tolerance is just wrong there on this one piece. And we put this one down so I can put that back on before I continue. Um, one more thing that I've noticed so far that I'm missing, and I don't know if I'll be able to find it. There's this little, I don't know, it's a 20 degree thing. That's not on the other wing. Um, I'm trying to find it now. This, you know, this spins around. This did not have those things on the back like this ever. Uh, I found the dude's... This was not Obi-Wan. I remember it. It's just a Jedi. I found his um, his hood. And I found all the blasters. There were two of each kind. And the ones with the scope are left-handed blasters. So you can look through the scope. Or they're right-handed blasters and they just hip fire. I have four clones with helmets that came with the ship. Two of them are in their, their pilot seats. The, the wings are on hinges. And these supports go as far into there as they can. And that's probably the most sturdy piece out of any Lego set I've ever built. Is this right here. These doors swivel back just like they do in the movie. Um, these aren't on like a gyroscope like they are in the movie. They lift up, but there's no, there's really no clones that go there. It didn't come with six minifigures. It only came with four. Well, five. Four in the uh, Jedi. Um, so these cockpits... They come off, they're only attached up top. The clones come out, or they stay in there. And this lifts up. Now that's another thing. I'd recommend gluing, real quick, this piece underneath the vented piece. There's a little hinged thing that holds the wings on. And the front ones on both sides are fine, because they're held in pretty securely. These are not so secure. Um, so I would recommend gluing those. You'll see where when you get it and it starts coming apart on you. But something that would not be so obvious about this, there's a magnetic in the front half here. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. In the front half here, this comes out to the side on both sides and there's a little drop ship, or there's a little drop package. And it has like, A thing full of tools and stuff so you can release that without opening this thing up but I just wanted to show you that that's there so that you know because that I would not have known that was there if I didn't build build the thing and it's magnetized just like that and it can rotate freely and then this goes back here I don't know what's preventing it from go oh yeah you have to like open the other side now I remember. You sort of have to lift this up a little bit, open the other side, close this side first, and then close this side. Um, I found the speeder. And I found the Luke Skywalker with the chrome, the old chrome hilts. Uh, the Jedi that was in this one may have had one at one time, but I, I can't find it in this. That's about one third of my spare parts of Lego. The rest of them are in that bin. And that bin. So, two people can't really fit in these seats side by side because their arms are too wide. If you take off their arms, they'll fit. But, um, that's pretty much it. I'm packing it up and uh, shipping it to you in the morning. So, I'll try and find a clever way to package that so that it doesn't require major assembly later.
that's about it. Um, catch you later, Rob. Thanks for the trade. See you.